In this video, I will show you how to create a digital escape room using Google Forms. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I am in Google Forms, and I can click blank form to get started. But even if I weren't in Google Forms, all I would have to do is go up here to the address bar and click and type forms.new, tap enter, and it would take me to a blank Google Form. I'm going to close out of this pop-up, and I'm going to title my form. So let's say I'm a Spanish teacher, and I want to create a digital escape room related to Mexico's holiday called Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead. So I'll just type in Day of the Dead, escape room, and I can put a description here if I want to. And I've just come up with kind of a strange little story here. You've stumbled upon a mystical altar. To unlock its secrets, you must solve the following riddles. Good luck. So now it's time for my first question. I'll click here where it says Untitled Question and type in the first question. And this moves along the story a little bit that I'm creating, but it ends in a question. What is the flower traditionally associated with Dia de los Muertos? Type the name of the flower in English. Now to make this a digital escape room and make it a little more, I guess, realistic to escape rooms, I'm gonna switch from multiple choice to a different question type. How about short answer? Once I've selected short answer, I can go down here and make this a required question and I'll click on these three dots to get some powerful tools or options. And I've noticed that in Google Forms, some of the best features are hidden underneath these three dots. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to choose response validation. And what this does is it will force the participant, the person answering these questions, to have to put in answers that meet certain criteria. So I want to switch it from number to text. And I want text that contains the word marigold. That's the correct answer. Now what if their answer is incorrect? I can click here and type a message that I want the students or whoever's trying to complete this digital escape room. This is what they'll see. It's a message to them when they get it wrong. Okay, what do I want to have happen next? Once the player figures out that the correct answer is Marigold and they spell it correctly and they submit it, I want them to be taken to a new section, the next step in the escape room. So I'm gonna go here and click Add Section. Here's Section 2, and you'll notice it now says, after Section 1, continue to next section. Now if I wanted to, I could click there and change it up and go to Section 1 or Section 2 or submit the form. Eventually I'll have multiple sections and I could select which one I want to jump to in this case. So using that tool, you could basically create not only an escape room, but maybe a choose your own adventure story. You could combine those two and create something really amazing. But for now, I'm just gonna go down here to section two and I'm gonna give it a name. I should give it a creative name, but for now I'm just gonna call it part two. We're on to part two. And I can continue the storyline if I want to here in the description. So I'll put in, you found the marigold, great work. Now what's that thing on the altar? And it's time now for another question. So I'll click here on this plus sign. And this again is gonna be a short answer question. And the there it is. Once again, I'll require that they answer this question and I will use response validation. I'll switch this to text and say text that contains the correct answer I'm looking for is bread of the dead. Again, I could put in a custom error text and I'm done. Add another section. And I would simply continue this process of creating questions, forcing the game player to put in the exact correct answer. It must include at least this, giving them some feedback, requiring that they answer the question and creating a new section for each step in the escape room. Give me a minute to complete this escape room and then I'll resume the video. So now I have multiple sections set up. Each section pushes along the story a little bit, introduces some information, and then asks a question. Now in some cases I've included an image and in some cases I have not used response validation just to provide some variety. But the game players now, the students in my case, will have to move step by step through this escape room. It's a digital virtual escape room until they get to the end and win the game. In a minute I'll show you what the final product looks like for the game player. But for now, I'm going to browse up to the top of my Google form to show you one more thing I can do to really add some character and some color to this digital escape room. And that is, I could click here where it says customize theme. When you click there, it gives you the option to change the color scheme. So I'm going to change this to orange, but I could switch it to green or blue or purple, whatever I want. And then I can also choose a header image. 
There are some default header images here that you could choose from. Just select it, click insert, and it's added at the top as a banner or header. But in this case, I really would like a header with more character, more personality. So I'm gonna do a search on the Google Images homepage for Day of the Dead GIF. So these should all be animated GIFs related to Day of the Dead. This one looks great. So I'm gonna right click on that and choose Save Image As. And I'm saving this to the Downloads folder of my computer. I'll click Save. And then back in my Google Form, in the Theme panel, I can remove this image here that I added as a header. And now I'll choose another image and upload it from my computer. I'll browse. And there is the animated GIF. It looks like I have to select a specific part of the animated GIF. I can't choose the whole GIF. So how about that? I'll click Done, and that animated GIF is being added as the header for my Google Form Digital Escape Room. This is great. I love how this looks. I'm gonna close the theme. And it's time now to publish this form. So I'll click Publish. Notice that anyone with the link will be able to play this digital escape room. You're welcome to play it if you want to. If you try this and it does not say anyone with the link, click Manage and change it to that. But I'll just click Save. And then I'm gonna click here to copy the responder link. If I want to, I can click here to shorten the link and then I can copy it. And then I'm gonna just paste it in to my browser window. And this is what the final product will look like for the game player. Notice that it only shows the first section and the game player or student cannot advance until they type in the keyword marigold. Found the marigold, great work. And then they're stuck here until they type bread of the dead. Now if they leave part of it off, they click next, it won't let them advance. They have to get it perfect for the most part, click next, and they move on to the next part. So Google Forms is actually a great way to create a digital and virtual escape room. This would be great for fun, for like a date night or something like that, but it's also perfect for the classroom if you can put in your educational curriculum, your content into this. So I hope you'll give this a try, and I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe, and when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support the channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Forms, please watch my Google Drive for Beginners, the complete course video. And also I have several other videos on Google Forms. You're gonna love learning about this fantastic and powerful tool.